Oh, guys, how far out are we away off the, off the mainland? Sorry? How far out are we, do you think? I don't, I don't, well, I'll tell you what. 10 miles away, we're out, uh, going to go for... No, nowhere near that. Gonna... Off the island, we're about uh, what are those, 3 miles, so 4 miles. Yeah, we're about four miles, four miles off the back of the Isle of Wight, and we're going to be uh, seeing what we can catch, what we've got. We're anchoring, we're going to be anchoring. We've got the anchor there, and we've got in that sack there a carcass of a ten pound or ten and a half pound. Don't forget the half pound uh, brown trout in an onion sack. It's all thawed out now. It's going to put that just tied it there. You see to the chain. Just it might be a bit of smell. It just might attract. The, well, the species we're after, spur dog, taupe, you know, they're predators, they got teeth, let's give them something to chew on. It's a small time mine, but I don't know what it down anyway. Well Wayne's on our first fish here, we've been a while haven't we Wayne? Waiting for bites with the big tides, pushing through a bit. Yeah I mean it's um... Dogs, a dog fish, isn't that? You had a doggy? Yeah I had a doggy earlier and I also had a half a whiting on, um, only a frozen whiting that I caught it back here, back in the last year. And that was cut clean in half which suggests it was a, probably a spur. Um, but the tides heaves through out here, we're on a very small tide, it's um... I mean, the smallest tide we get down here uh, on the south coast is probably 3.7, something like that, and it's, it's only 3.9, so it's small. But even so, as you can tell by the back of the uh, outboard there, it, it rolls through. So we've got big leads on. Um, you've got to be nailed on the bottom. If you're not, you, you just won't get the bites. And yeah, I feel, uh, I feel this isn't a dogfish. It could be a bull ass, maybe. Um, it doesn't feel huge. Again, hard to tell. Big weight, big lead on. A lot of tide pulling, we'll see. What bait, Wayne? What was that on? This was on a piece of this uh, this unwashed squid. I know I said this last time, but it's this stuff here, which uh, I've had people say it's rubbish. It's not. I've caught, well, I think last year I caught about 19, 20 species on it. And um, nothing wrong with it. It's very good. Very good stuff. Why, we're only fishing the one rod each, and I'll tell you why. When it's roaring like this, if you put too many out, by the time they go back in the tide and they eventually settle, they all will gather. And if you get them twisted, like say a conga gets on there and wraps them up, it's just not worth it. It's an absolute nightmare trying to get them all back in. Here we go. So what have we got here? I mean, line spun up a touch. No, that looks like a... Is that a spur dog? What is that? I don't know. That looks very strange. That's very it? dark, that fish. Yeah, that looks very odd. That is like a six skill. <laughs> No. It looks like a baby sea skill, be careful what that is, Wayne. Right? It looks weird, that's dark. I think it's a spur. But as you say, it looks very, dark. very dark. It looks very odd in the. Um... <clears throat> right, so I'm not going to mess about it. Look, my line, no, no. My line tangled and then untangled, so I'll, I'll have another go. Probably just a really dark mark one, as it were. I think dark it's a spur. I think it's a spur. I would suggest it is. Yeah. We 
which you thought it would be. Yeah, there we go, yeah. I think it's the first have a look. It is though, isn't it? It's a very, very... Very dark one. Yeah. There we go, look how well hooked that is. Beautifully hooked in the jaw there. There's the squid on, look, double uh, unwashed squid. Um, was. What we'll do, we'll, we'll quickly... Uh, I don't know, what, I'm not, I'm not 100 percent Let's get this fish in. Quick. Lift it over quick. It's like a new species or something. Well, there we go. I think it's a smooth hound. It just looks a little bit different. That was Weird, all. Yeah, and it's got these white edges to its fins there, which I, I can't say I've really noticed much before. Unless they're only white because the fish is so dark. Yeah. That's I think a weird one. Anyway. It's a fish. I don't know. Maybe it's a spur. Maybe it's a spur. With a, I can't see any spurs on it. No. Okay. I don't think it is. Anyway, I've looked at the mouth. There's no teeth. So. Right, anyway. He's gone. Very strongly away. And a fish in the boat. So we're at the start of February, and uh, as I say, we're out off the back of the island and the tide's roaring, even though it's a small tide. Now, at the moment, the price of squid is uh, is a killer. It's very, very expensive. I don't think it's ever going to come down. So as a consequence, I'm trying other baits. Uh, there's a half a nice big chunky white that I caught um, just before Christmas, and I've kept a few of these for the freezer, and just had a heck of a bite on uh, the bottom half of that whiting and um, I'm looking at that and thinking shall I put that on probably let's give myself another cutting just behind his pectoral there and what I'll do I'll put that on as a bait because if we're after something decent you'd like to think that it'll uh, engulf that without a problem so I think we showed you this before I'm using a very short piece of wire trace there, barb crushed down and uh, 150 pound mono that. Now I've done double crimp that as well. I've never lost this trace in a fish and I've heard people say oh, I don't like using wire, people will use heavy mono. I know plenty of people that lost fish on heavy mono so they've left a hook and some heavy mono in a fish. I've never left this in a fish yet so that's why I use it. Well, the tide's dropped off, guys. We've been putting some small looks on the back of the big ones on a stinger to see what it is, but we've actually got one on the hook there, and it's another really, really black fish. That's weird. I'm looking for the spurs on it, and you can see at the back there I've got the stinger hook, the small one, but he's actually taken. Now be very careful with that small hook. Very, very black. Oh, no, it's a spur. It is a spur, Wayne, this one. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just... Where's this one in? Yeah, that is a spur. I saw the spur on his back. So, yeah, I've got to watch that spur. Oh, watch out at the back. Don't, don't spike me. I want to show them to you. I don't want it in the face. There's a spur on the dorsal fin. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. I've only got the head cam on. Spur, I'm just going to Review it there, right by my fingers. So be real careful grabbing these kids. But there you go. Bit of a surprise to me on that to, on that bait. But that was on squid. I get nothing on the mackerel. So fingers crossed, something starts to move. We get a few more bites. It's a bite on this one. I think he's on. Now, you think we will get a bit of? Yeah, I think well, I'll, I'll put the small hooks down. But if we, if we get an action on the spurs, and if there's another spur, if it is, then uh, I'll take that stinger hook off because it's not going to work now. We're getting bait stripped and stripped and stripped. It's coming, it's coming. Up you come. So nice to see you. A fish and a flat sea at the same time. There's every chance they could take the stinger. And this one is a dogfish on a stinger. But there you can see the idea behind, behind that uh, stinger. There's my lead. There's my wire trace. Here's my hook there for a big fish. And there, this one's taking the stinger. And it is a dogfish. 
Well, the other thing is that they're just not even chewed, they're stripped, the bait is nothing, isn't it? It's gone. Give this one a bit of a. Yeah. Eh? Maybe holding on to the bait, we'd be hooking them more. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Tide's pretty well died on us here now. That could be smaller spur dogs, chewing the boat off. Yeah, I guess it could be small stuff, yeah, like that. Also very nice to feel that little bit of sunshine in the middle of winter is uh, gratefully accepted. That's down. Got the baits out again. A little tap on that one, and Wayne's just had a good good pickup. A nice steady slow pickup, wasn't it, Wayne? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Confident, confident bite this one. Bent over and stayed, stayed bent over. So certainly not a doggy. Maybe a little bit more substantial. Oh no! There we go. Well, I mean, red smooth down, spur dog, small conger, dogfish. So I'm hoping this is taupe. <laughs> we had a very small bullass as well. It has yeah. been sort sort of quiet, but this mark comes alive and the tide eases off and even over slack you get plenty of fish over slack as well that's on the ebb and when the flood starts you do get fish on the flood here but only for about an hour and then it, it seems to pull much really harder hard, yeah. which, is, which is odd because generally it pulls harder on the ebb around here but got a bit of head shaking going on there then wasn't there there is a little bit yeah i suppose it could be an eel it doesn't really feel um savage enough for eels they do they're very snatchy I don't know. It might be a spur. The spur fights are quite quite different depending on the individual. Some scream off. Some you wouldn't know they were on there till uh, you lean into them. Some come up easy and then go crackers when they get to the side of the boat. They're, they're, they're funny. There's no sort of rhyme or reason to their fight. So oh, like, yeah, nice big conger, guys. Look at this one. It's not massive, but it's big enough. Let me get the light weight off first and foremost before it goes off his head. Oh! Right, all right, all right. Oh, That's a good eel. He's strong, isn't he? Yeah. Well, we knew we had the possibility of coming across some steel. What do you think? Wait, that's over 20, isn't it? 25? Yeah, 35, easy. It's, it's very difficult when you film a fish like that in the water, Graham, as you well know. It yeah, until you lift them up. From us looking at it. I'll try to get a bit of perspective on him in a minute. Then I'll get my T-bar around him and hang next to him. Oi. There he is next yeah, to him. Yeah, that's, it. that's a big fish, yeah. So he's a fair old lump, but I'll crush his barbs down, so hopefully, with a little bit of luck, he will come off really quickly. Yeah, easy. he's gone. Why? So that was a nice conger there. This, I don't know, I've got to take it steady. The only thing fishing with those stinger hooks is, you might think you've got a big fish on the big hook and you're okay to haul away on it, but it might not be. It might be a decent fish that's actually taken a stinger hook, so it's always best to take it a little bit careful. That sunshine is very acceptable. Ease him up because I'm only on, I think it's 15 pound with the stinger hooks and the small hook, it's like a size four freshwater carp hook. And I've got to take it steady on a great big lumpy rod like this. Just ease him up, just to see what he is. I mean, it could be, could be on the main hook, in which case we're okay, but you're never going to know until you visit the sea what's coming up. I see something, it is a spur dog on the main hook, there you go. So the sting hook's just behind it. Nearly a tail walking spur dog, that one. I'm going to take this lead off, guys. Sometimes it's easier. 
even on charter boats, get the lead, take it off, put it in your pocket. There's a spur hook, but don't forget, there's the trailing hook just there. Yeah, that's a nice spur dog, that one. I'll try and lift him up for you. Oh, he is a nice spur dog. Oh, wow. yeah, that's a nice fish. Just got to watch those spurs and, of course, a yeah, <laughs> loose hook around my hand. Right, let's get him back. Now, I'm, I'm not on barbless see, I keep saying I crush this I can't. No, he's gone. There he is, uh, under the water, black. Very, very black fish. Yeah. Wayne's just had another strap conger, and the tide's now going the other way. So we're hoping we get about another 40 minutes, maybe, or something, of tide here. Got a fish hooked up. I don't know what it is. I guess it might be another, another eel. But it's absolutely, as you can see here, guys, superb day there. And we're on full leg weights at the moment, pound of quarters, trying to hold out in the tide. Just see what this is. And of course now I think the fish is always going to seem bigger than you think it is because of the amount of tide on it. There are a few eels really, Wayne. I guess it is more, more eels than uh, spurs you'd have thought today, would you? you know, I mean, has it yeah. turned out a bit different than well, we planned? We asked them a little bit early in the season for the spurs, but I know they've been around, that's why we've, we've come out to try to find them. We found a couple, I know. Um, but those, those conga, they, they didn't seem to go anywhere last year. They seem to hang around all year. And I'm kind of hoping it's not going to continue like that because they, they are, I don't seem ingracious as catching fish and that lot, but they are pests. pest. They plough through the baits, don't they? Yeah, and once you've hooked 30 of them, you're kind of sick of it for the day. And, we haven't had that many today, I know, but we've had half a dozen. Some of them have been a couple of clonkers. So, unfortunately, you didn't manage to film that last one, but that was a, that was a big old deal you had on. He was got to be... Big. Oh, you got a bite there as well on that one. We're just getting bites just on the limit of the leads hold in the bottom, I think. Yeah, we've had steady action today. I think this one's gone so far back, Wayne, in a minute I'm going to surface with a man with a, a bike and some onions on him. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the coast of Calais. I'm loath to call it today because nothing sport like it like it should. I mean that big eel come up very oddly. Yeah, strange, strange fight, yeah. Yeah, so I know spurs have been a bit strange. Oh, he's gone deep now. Oh, it's a trouble. These bloody cod, they give you such a trouble. <laughs> now that's be an eel, I'd say. I'd love it a bit, but... Oh, is it a spur? No, spur. Oh, there you go. Dark, yeah. Nice oh, it's a bullass, big bullass. Yeah. I did wonder why we hadn't yeah, had Yeah, you did say that, you did say that. I'm going to come up the side with him. I have to say, I did wonder why we hadn't had any, because uh, we normally get them around here. I'll come up the way here. Yeah. Got a big head on in that one. I feel like seeing them, I think they're lovely fish. And they never seem to be one mark the same as the other. And I do like them. There you go, you see him there. The tide is a ripping. There's a small looks behind him, he's got it in his tail end for a second. Peculiar. There we go, you... Lovely yeah, markers across. I like that T-bar way, yeah. That is a... Maybe we'll have him in for a picture because he's just... Oh, he's off. No, he's got the small look as well. Oh, he's, oh, he's off now. There he goes, he's gone. He's down there. Yeah, both then. I didn't really deserve that fish, guys. You can see the bait presentation with this couple of fish is what you would see in the fishing books. But it worked. It was a nice size one. The Wayne's got something on there. I'm going to go back down again slowly. And that's a doggy. That's all. Nothing of what I'm about. We've been playing the fish for a while here in the tide, guys. We were having it down as a conger. We've seen it come up once. Wayne's got the net, so he's no way he's putting a conger in the net. <laughs> Wayne, no, no. That is not happening, but we got decent sized spur dog here. Hopefully we get get him up far enough we can maybe show him to you. Yeah, when they get this size I'd rather bring him in, in the net. He's a reasonable fish. Got a bite on this one actually. 
We're just on the cusp of having to pack up, aren't we, really, for the tide? Yeah, there is a bite, and that's definitely not me because I'm down no, here. No, 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 it's not. I'm way back. Yeah, once it gets, once it starts pulling too hard, it, it, it's just no fun anymore. You hook a dog, or they still feed through that stage of the tide, and and in particular hooking eel, they still feed. It, it, it becomes it's kicking and kicking. Rather unpleasant. It did look a nice fish. I saw yeah, it did. It certainly looked the best one of the day. A lot of it's a current, obviously the pressure, big weight as well. All silence as we steer through the water. There's the green. Watch that loose hook, Wayne. You know the little yeah. baby one? Wow, he's in. Well, it'd be double figures anyway. Oh, gotcha. Wow. There we go. That oh, is yeah, a proper yeah, spur dog, that one. Yeah. That's a nice fish, that. There we go, people. And Wayne said we'd be out in the spur mark, and it do be our. You see the spur sticking up from his dorsal there. Nice, good fish. Lovely fish. Lovely fish, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's strong. They are. Like the bull husk. You've got to watch those spurs. I know we said it loads of times, but I mean, that one at the back there. Ooh, yeah. Look at him. He's a vicious one. But, um, Inch and a half long, that? Yeah. That's a lovely. It's a nice, nice oh, fish. Oh, it's a good one. Fish. Right. Let's get him back. Move down. Go on. Good show, Wayne. It was good. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's a good one. Good one to finish with. Yeah, I think what we'll do now, if you don't mind, we'll maybe pull anchor and drift the wreck for a couple of hits if we can't pick up a bonus pollock or something. It'd be I mean, worth a shot, wouldn't it? I mean, a bit so. shot, a day like today. Too nice to go home. It's too nice, yeah. We say that every time there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pick up here, guys, with, uh, a boy that was spotted drifted past us when we were anchored. And we're just going down to look at a wreck, but Wayne saw some rope off it as well, so that's really dangerous. Anybody coming in late in the evening doesn't see that and thinks it's just a boy there's rope either side isn't there Wayne? Yeah well I've got to be careful coming up to it because uh, I don't know how much rope's hanging out the back of it. Or on the other side as well I suspect. Yeah clearly it's not uh, <laughs> it's not attached to anything. It hasn't got any gear on it yeah. It will be drifting but I can see some rope. Yeah sunk down. I don't know yeah. how much of it there is so we've got to be very careful going up to it. But like I say if someone was going along at full pelt and just... Chews up in the prop. Yeah didn't know that. See, there's a fair old bit of rope. Oh, another foot. I'll probably get the bit of rope. Yeah, quite a bit close to it. It's just I can see. Right. Got him. Got the rope. God, get got me! God, God! Shoot, 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 shoot! Pip it! Tell you what, Wayne, there's more bloody rope here. You were right. Yeah, I thought there would be. I thought there would be, and it's drifting. I mean, you know, Look at it. that's why I said you've got to be so careful. Well, I thought it was only about five feet on there. Right, here we go. Look, this goes to tell you why you've, you've out here at sea. So many people don't look what they do, and they just think, oh, the seas, you know, it's not like a road. They think it's empty, yeah. Yeah, we can just boat along and not look, and no, no, you've got to look. I think it's to make high sea drift or anchor. <laughs> it's been a road. Well, this goes to show, Graham. I mean, we knew we knew it was drifting because it went away from us. Yeah, but well, I didn't realise there's as much rope there is. Look, splice of some description. Where are we? You bloody nearly could use us for garden rope. There's a lot coming off there, isn't there? Isn't there? Could have come from anywhere. West Country. And that's the bite mark from the conga that chewed it off. <laughs> that, guys, that, would not be good around your propeller as a small boat. No, it wouldn't. I mean, a big boat would chew that up, wouldn't it? A big uh, convoy thing that comes through here, those ferries wouldn't even know it. But well, for the type of boats we go in, that's uh, not good news. No, that wouldn't be good news for any boat. And there's a lot of it. And imagine that getting wrapped around a prop and not good news. Not good you news, no. Of, uh, stuffed out here until someone could tow you in, I'm guessing. You know, especially if you've got a leg on the back of a boat or. Fixed yeah, or something yeah. Like that. you can't get down to. That's it. a good deed for the evening, done.
beautiful stranger But at least I got buried alone Always knew I was gonna get knocked out I ain't got no right 